My name is Richard McLean, a research student at Victoria University in uh, Melbourne. And this is uh, a little design that I've put together, which is a free energy machine that uh, it's a little schematic diagram of a gyroscope that will run near perpetually. And I'll explain now how all this happens. Um, now, this is a the template we have here is a uh, is a divine lattice of a uh, Fibonacci spiral that goes on the on the sacred numbers of one plus one equals two, one plus two equals three, two plus three equals five, uh, five plus three equals eight, etc., etc., and it goes along and it creates this spiral. Um, this um, if merging spiral here is the uh, past, and this is the present. Uh, this big uh, square here on the right. Now, what I'm going to do is start to play this, and uh, I'll show you how it all comes together. Now, it's going to be um, it's going to uh, start with the basic shape. So we've got a basic grid here of a divine lattice, which uh, under which anything can happen, and uh, we're going to start with a circle and a square and a triangle to try and arrive at the. Uh, at the grid. Hang on, let me just see. There we go. Okay, so the uh, the circles come in, and uh, we can see the circle there at the top. And um, there's this uh, geometry that happens, and it arrives at the uh, nature of a gyroscope, which will come up in green in a minute. Um, I envisage that uh, this, you know, could be um, used uh, as uh, here's the gyroscope in green here. Uh, and this is a free energy machine that um, doesn't need nuclear power, so. Um, henceforth, it's got the peace symbol here uh, that's uh, structured into the uh, uh, design, which of course is the uh, flag um, uh, things for the nuclear disarmament ND. Um, that's where the peace sign came from. So uh, if we keep playing this, um, you can see that we arrive at the gene green gyroscope, which is uh, coming up now. There we go. I'm not sure if the sound's a little bit off on this uh, recording, so we'll see how we go. Now, well, this runs on uh, the the inertia of uh, gyroscopes uh, in in a way that a gyroscope in the in the green section will be extruded to a, a square shape, and uh, we put magnets inside that, and we use the magnets and uh, the inertia of the magnet to the, the inertia of the gyroscope to keep spinning it. Um, so I'll explain how this happens in a sec. Oh, that was just a bit of artistic license on uh, positive and negative and the tensions between positive and negative and uh, light and dark. We can also, uh, we're, we're going to use a, 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 a diagram of using three magnets on this, uh, on this design, but we could easily double the uh, power of this machine by using um, this six-pointed star. So um, I'll tell you about this in a sec, but just coming up is, there's our first magnet. It's about uh, four inches at length on its longest edge um, to give you an idea of the scale of this machine. Um, and our second magnet appears there. Um, our third magnet um, appears on the third section and that little extra magnet that appears on the outside where the start of the Fibonacci spiral is that's actually an electromagnet and it's shown here in a turned on so it'll be shown turned off in a minute and I'll explain how this works it's a very simple idea and I think it would be really exciting to be able to make um, of course you know if you wanted to double it you could use um, six points of this star um, in the same way that I'll explain in a sec. But we're just going to start with three magnets at this stage. So going on, you've got this uh, gyroscope with three magnets in it um, and the electrode magnet turns off and uh, the only thing we're going to need for this is the energy of the sun. Um, if this is happening in present time, we haven't really had the technology before to be able to have this happen. Um, so uh, this is why it happens in the in the right um, huger square because that's the present um, in terms of my work at the universalembrace.com, which you're welcome to check out. So it only needs uh, solar energy, and in the top left we can see there that the uh, the blue is the solar panel. So uh, and that's the nuclear energy of the sun. And the purple box is a battery or a, a chargeable battery, uh, which will be charged by the solar um, power. Now the black 
uh, circuit there goes to the electromagnet and also goes to the point exactly between where the magnets are embedded in the gyroscope. So if we just uh, get an idea of how that works. And now a little bit of red's going to come up. This little bit of red um, is where the circuit of the electromagnet is going to spark. So if you get an idea of this magnet spinning, uh, this gyroscope spinning very fast, and the inertia of the weight of the magnet, uh, the gyroscope and the magnet spinning very fast, um, the red part is where the electromagnet will pulse and repel that little bit of uh, energy and using that tiny bit of energy, keep the gyroscope spinning. So uh, we'll just try and animate this for you now. So there's the energy from the sun, charges the battery and it connects at that red point and spins in the direction of the green arrow. So once it, once it goes back off this little red part here, the magnet turns off and, uh, and we can, you've got to start this little machine by hand, you know what I mean? So, and, that, and then this uh, extra red part, which is in the exact middle of where the two magnets are embedded in the gyroscope, um, comes under again. And when it comes under, it'll pulse the, mag the electromagnet and the electromagnet will uh, repel, which is interesting. Um, the, uh, there we go, It'll, it pulses again and it pushes it along. Um, this is uh, really in talking about uh, resonance and uh, endlessness and um, the, the, macroscopic, the macroscopic universe and the microscopic God self. So if that sounds delusional, I um, don't blame you for thinking so. But um, I think this is a simple little machine that could really just work. I'd really like to get someone to make it. I'd really like someone to um, to work with. Um, I'm thinking about doing a fundraising thing to try and help me make an actual model of this. And it's got to do with the distinctions between art and science, the distinctions between what's intuition, where do ideas come from, how did I come up with this idea, what is geometry made. Um, Paul Davies in his book The Mind of God said that, um, that um, things get more complicated as time go on. Um, in terms of physics. So um, I don't know, I think this is an idea that's really interesting and uh, could be really important. I'd love to put this on the corner of everybody's house, you know, to power a couple of lights or a fan. Um, there's another way between the three magnets on the gyroscope, we could actually put um, metal coils as, as the weight of the gyroscope and then use the electro um, more magnets on the outside to again um, use the metal coils going past to uh, charge another battery. So whether it makes more energy than it puts in is another thing. But I think um, it's very, very possible to make a uh, gyroscope that spins on the corner of everybody's house or it's just, just on everyone's house in the world, you know, to, uh, to uh, just, just fire up a couple of lights or keep a computer going. Um, this is just uh, slowing down now for, for, for animation's sake. And, uh, and this is just how the uh, animation goes on. But you've got to really understand that this uh, gyroscope is spinning very fast. And the idea is that um, the uh, inertia in the gyroscope actually keeps it spinning. And the tiny bit of energy in that repulsion, um, when it comes around, that red bit comes around and the circuit's completed, um, just pulses that magnet and keeps that um, gyroscope spinning. Um, really endlessly, um, as long as the uh, battery can <coughs> excuse me, um, uh, store enough power for it to go overnight. Um, this is a potentially a machine that could work around the clock um, in uh, locations close to the hemisphere on Earth. So I know it's a really interesting idea. I like it, the contrast between art and science and that it contrasts between um, where ideas come from and where they go and you know I could be dead tomorrow and this uh, idea might be gone but hopefully by saving it and digitizing it um, I'll be able to share it with everybody and I didn't have the money to paint in any idea like this so I'm just releasing it free to the world and offering people to collate with me and um, help me and, des and design with me um, and see what we can come up with so I hope you've enjoyed this little presentation of uh, the free energy love machine and uh, yeah that's my little contribution um, which I hope to take forward into the future. Cheers.